of the natural sciences in the 21st century, biology is a leading science, as witnessed by nutritional science and food science, which also belong to the life sciences. Johanna Rost is studying at Germany's largest teaching and research center for food science and biotechnology. She experiments in well-equipped laboratories and studies in small groups with personal contact to all academic instructors from her first day on the campus through to her final paper. The research results of natural science have profound biomedical, technical and environmental consequences. Their findings are applied to technological production procedures in order to facilitate the production of high-quality, healthy foods. Nutritional science links the latest results of bioscience with current medical questions. Seeing nourishment and health as an integrated and scientific connection is crucial for the healthy nourishment of all people and becomes increasingly important in an aging society. The Department of Nutritional Medicine combines nutritional medicine and immunology in research and practice. Teaching and research focus on the interactions occurring between food contents and the human organism. Careful attention is given to the prevention and therapy of nutrition-caused illnesses. Measurements on the basic metabolic rate of calorimetry give useful basic data. In the high-tech Life Science Center, various specialist disciplines of the life sciences study together on cutting-edge research fields concerning life, nutrition and environment. They have one goal, gaining a greater quality of life. In close cooperation with corporate enterprises, the center supports the transfer of knowledge and technology. All study paths in the 14 natural science institutes merge in the comprehensive faculty center of research food chain. It deals with the entire food chain, from original production over means of cultivation and marketing, including the effects on health. This qualifies students perfectly for all fields of activity in the modern life sciences in industry and economy. Agricultural science, in research and instruction, deals with probably the most important global questions of efficiency for mankind. How does one produce foods for humans and animals? How does one gain renewable commodities? How does one use soils for crop production and stock breeding? Guaranteed global food production, security in the food chain, bioenergy, genomic diversity, climate change, water availability are all major and urgent challenges. Therefore, agricultural science becomes one of the essential research disciplines of our century. A research discipline that works day after day on the evaluation and effective development of agriculture, the food industry and rural areas. The main topics are consumer protection, animal welfare and ecology. Professor Bertinger instructs and researches efficient process engineering of agricultural and nutritional science at Germany's leading agricultural faculty. In 1923, Germany's first lady professor, Margareta von Wrangel, already found new ways of increasing harvests at the Institute of Plant Nutrition, a task which, even today, is still on the agenda of agricultural science. Aside of the 17 institutes, the faculty has five test stations at its disposal with different main assignments. For example, the research station for crop production and crop protection analyzes the potential and environmental compatibility of crop production and tests the newest techniques of precision farming. The research results flow continuously into practice via the exchange of knowledge or the research station for animal husbandry, animal breeding and small animal breeding, where animal welfare and plant protection with innovative technologies are their main focus. Scientists research new production methods, investigate environmental compatibilities and with Germany's first exploratory biogas plant, 
the technical applications of biogas. The interdisciplinary cross-faculty tropical center ties the expertise of the natural, agricultural, business and social sciences together in projects concerning the tropics and subtropics. Communication instead of isolation. That is the formula for success of the leading agricultural faculty in Germany that enjoys an excellent reputation within national and international networks. Its concept to treat nourishment and health together with adjoining disciplines is unique. Ms. Sinker has successfully completed her studies of economics, focusing on corporate governance and marketing. Until of late, she spent much time as a student in this legendary and beautiful department library, working on her diploma thesis. Today, she works for a major international corporation in the field of human resources management. In her working life, Ms. Sinker now profits from the cutting-edge research and modern teachings according to the international standards of the Faculty of Economics and Social Sciences. A model of experienced interdisciplinary learning which promotes business and economic skills and expanding them with the knowledge of social science and law. Even during her studies, Ms. Tsinka dealt with current challenges of the economical and social development. Now she can easily order microeconomic knowledge into macroeconomic and social contexts and respond to changes at an early stage. Within the various research activities, special emphasis is given to the future-oriented area of European innovation and service economy. Alongside the tendency toward quantitative-oriented research, Experimental research has established itself at the faculty and, for example, takes place here at the market research laboratory of the Chair for Marketing. Investigative inquiries of directional views are a valuable basis for fundamental results in various branches of business, economics and social sciences. For example, business informatics for analyzing negotiation situations, communication science for surveying reading habits, or the research on the effect of marketing. Future managers approve of what the broadly differentiated course offers, combined with a modern infrastructure like the radio and TV studio. Students, as well as scientists of the faculty that is composed of seven institutes and 40 chairs, receive awards for their achievements regularly. The graduates are sought after young professionals, last but not least, thanks to the close integration of directional teaching and future-oriented research with the economy. Career rankings over many years show this. Faculty professors are also very much sought after as experts by the media. They answer questions on business, explain latest developments, evaluate them and offer solutions to particularly acute problems. That is how the faculty acquired a good national and international reputation and cooperates with internationally renowned partners with the further training of top executives in companies. The university does like its celebrations. It offers various attractive leisure time activities for its students and staff. Sports, culture, wonderful theme-drawn celebrations, there's something in it for everybody. International contacts allow students to take a semester abroad within Europe, in America, Africa or Asia. And by the same token, the university is very popular among foreign students. Roughly 100 international joint projects, research networks, partnerships, excellence centers and the exchange of scientists makes the university internationally renowned. Already during their studies, many students look to their future after graduation. Individual guidance is given to them in the career center of the university. 
career databases, job fairs, offers on key qualifications and placements mediate between studies and profession, as well as students and companies. Employers can find a central contact person for their recruiting in the career center. The university did pioneer work for the work-life balance of their members. In 2004, it was audited as the first family-friendly academy in the federal state. Maya feels visibly happy in the nursery Kleinstein. Last year, her mother could acquire the largest third-party project for the university. Here, employees know their offspring are in the best pedagogical hands. In the Haus der Kleinen Forscher, children for the first time ever in Germany are supported under the age of three years, playfully and academically. With the Studium Schnupperale, the university perpetuates this offer of assistance to the public. In the auditorium of the Kinder Uni, children from the region breathe real university air. The bigger ones visit the Frü and the Schule Uni. Educationally interested grown-ups listen to lectures in the Studium Schnupperale. Parks, gardens and museums are open to the public throughout the year. Education for all senses attracts numerous visitors to the offener Sommertag. The campus, which is evaluated by ranking as the most beautiful campus in the federal state, has admirable surroundings and profits from its location in the south of Stuttgart, close to the airport. Regional cooperations with universities of applied sciences and other universities ensure and increase the quality of research and teaching. In university rankings, all its faculties are positioned at the top level. The third-party revenues grow continuously. Annually, the number of applicants and students rise. Worldwide and in the region, the university works together with business and political bodies in order to align itself best to social demands. The Universität Hohenheim is well set up for the important tasks of the future.